Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can fix issue if your Asus laptop cannot uh, find your hard drive, it cannot detect your hard drive and give you an error, or it may say hard drive is not installed and so on. So the first, th first thing that you need to do is to uh, boot into your uh, laptop BIOS. Now there could be a number of different things that may cause the issue, so I will try to give you a different a number of different solutions you may try out. So the first thing I'm going to do is to uh, switch off your computer or restart your computer and we will attempt to boot into BIOS. Now on your BIOS laptop, usually the, the function key that to boot into the BIOS is the F2 key. Now depending on which laptop you have or which model and which year that you have, it may be F1, F2 or it could be F9 or the delete key. Now just um, usually it is the F2 key but if it does not work you may want to try other function key and just try it out or you may need to Google to find uh, the right function key for your laptop model. So I'm going to press on the power button and press on the F2 immediately to attempt to put into my BIOS. So you need to do this fairly quickly. If you are a little bit too slow, it will skip and then you will not be able to put into BIOS. So you need to be fairly quick. If it does not work, give it another try. And here you can see we are now putting into BIOS. Okay, in the BIOS screen, you want to navigate to the boot tab at the top and then you want to go down and go into either launch CSM or you may see it said um, legacy or another option is the EUFI. So sorry, it's the UEFI. So if you see it says CSM or legacy, you may want to switch it over to um, UEFI or if it's UEFI, you want to switch it over to legacy or CSM. Okay, once you're in the boot, menu right here you may see it said uh, boot option and the boot option usually is legacy or CSM or UEFI so CSM is pretty much the same as legacy otherwise it is UEFI now by default uh, it is preferred to you uh, to use UEFI so if you see it say UEFI you want to switch it to um, legacy and if you see it said legacy you you would want to change it to uh, UEFI and see whichever one work for you so the way you do that is you go down use the arrow key you go down to that option and then you press on the enter key and then you either choose enable or you choose disable now every time you make changes just press on the F10 and then save and exit and then reboot your computer and see if that works, see if that fixes the issues to see and see if the laptop can now detect your hard drive. So again, you want to, um, like if it's legacy, you switch to UEFI and if it's UEFI, you switch to legacy. Now, if you are unable to make the changes, you may need to go into security and then go down to secure boot menu and you might want to turn off secure boot because if you have secure boot on uh, you may not be able to make changes to your boot mode so that is something that you could try and uh, see if that fixes the problem now if you have recently installed a hard drive or if you remove a hard drive on your laptops uh, or if you perhaps somehow drop your laptop and the hard drive is misplaced then what you need to do is to reset your hard drive by simply pulling it out and put it back in or if the connector is loose then that can cause an issue the laptop won't, won't be able to detect the hard drive okay so here is the hard drive now if this connector is loose somehow then that can cause an issue so make sure that you take it out and then put it back on another thing that might cause an issue is, is the controller right here if that controller has been pulled up you may need to reset it if it's loose then it will not be able to detect the hard drive so if you have recently serviced your hard drive make sure all the connector is properly uh, sit in the right place okay another issues that may cause your laptop not working is your BIOS system date and time. So if the date and time is not correct, you need to go in and make changes so that it is it has the correct date and the correct time. Now with the incorrect date and time, it can cause all sorts of issues on your computer uh, from not detecting your hard drive to operating system not functioning correctly or you won't be able to browse the internet and so on. So make sure that you have the correct system date and time um, in your BIOS. 
Okay, finally, it is also very possible that your hard drive is corrupted and faulty. Now, when it's leading up to the point where your hard drive is totally uh, faulty and you cannot use it anymore, you normally see your computer will start to lag. It goes, it becomes very slow, and then slowly, slowly, it just uh, very lag and it comes to a point where you'll not be able to use your computer anymore and you also will hear a lot of switching noise when your computer becomes very laggy it makes like switching noise on the hard drive that is an indicator that your hard drive is being worn out and it's slowly uh, dying out and when once it's died out you will not be able to detect the hard drive anymore now another issue is, is that it could be just the operating system windows operating system that's causing an issue with the hard drive and um, if you reinstall Windows uh, on your computer, sometimes it um, will allow you to format the hard drive and then after that, you'll be able to use the hard drive again. So definitely before you decide to replace the hard drive, you may want to reinstall Windows uh, on your Asus laptop and see if you can format the hard drive. If after formatting the hard drive and uh, it's still not be able to detect the hard drive or if you say there is an error with your hard drive then maybe it's time to uh, replace the hard drive um, if you do have another computer you may be able to take it out and uh, you can try to um, troubleshoot and diagnose to see if your hard drive is healthy or not but in most cases um, if you go into the boot on your bios so if you go into boot and if you change your boot mode from legacy to UEFI or back um, from UEFI to uh, legacy then sometimes that can solve the problem and that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos